What up, Internet? My name is Chris from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. You're about to watch one of my math videos, and I just want to let you know that how I teach in this video can also be done live with online tutoring. That means whatever is on my screen, you can also see on your screen. You can ask me about any math topic that you're having trouble with, and I can walk you through it using a whiteboard, microphone, and webcam. So just like I said before, everything that is on my screen shows up live on your screen. Uh, there's no software for you to download. So if you want live tutoring or just need solutions to any set of math problems, uh, please email me at chris at mathmean.com. Once again, chris at mathmean.com, and I would love to help you out. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy my video and take care. Welcome to my video. I am going to teach you how to solve systems of equations using the elimination method. And before I get started with an example, I want to teach you the different type of solutions you will get when you solve the systems using the elimination method. And a system of equations is just uh, two lines. And if you have two lines that are non-parallel, that means that they're going to touch only once and they only intersect one time, so it means that there's only one solution. This is the most common exa example with elimination problems and most of your solutions are going to have uh, one solution. The second type of solution you can get is two parallel lines that are not overlapping. Uh, that means that they never touch. So whenever you solve the system, and you have two parallel lines that are not overlapping and never touch, um, you're going to get something that looks like 0 equals some number. I put 5, um, but it can be any number. 0 equals some number. And you know that's never true. Um, so if you get to that point, you can just write uh, no solution. And the thir third type of solution you can get is when you have two parallel lines that are overlapping, that are right on top of another. And I tried showing that to you with two lines, one blue dashed line and one black line. And whenever they're overlapping or on top of another, that means that they're touching at an infinite number of points, so there is a infinite uh, number of solutions. And whenever you're solving a system uh, using the elimination method and you get zero equals zero, um, you know that's true all the time. Whenever that happens, uh, you can just write um, infinite number of solutions. So let's get started with an example. Here we have the line x minus 2y equals 5, and we have another line 2x plus 3y equals 17. And I wrote the steps for you on the left-hand side of the screen, and step number one is make x's or the y's eliminate. So in order to make an x or y eliminate, you have to make it exactly the opposite. So notice how in this second equation, we have a positive 2x. So if we wanted to eliminate that positive 2x, we need a negative 2x, something that's exactly the opposite. So I'm just going to rewrite this second equation exactly how it is. And once again, notice how there's a positive 2x in this equation, so I need a negative 2x to eliminate it. So in order to get that negative 2x, I'm going to multiply the first equation by negative 2. And whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 2. And now notice when I distribute, negative 2 times x is just negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 2y is positive 4y. And negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Now we have a positive 2x and we have a negative 2x now that we can eliminate them. So that's why I multiplied the first equation by negative 2 um, in order to get um, something that is exactly the opposite of positive 2. Um, so now we can eliminate the x's um, and move on to step number 2.
And just a side note before I move on to step number two, you don't have to eliminate the x's. Uh, I just chose to eliminate the x's because it was the easiest way. You know, all I had to do was multiply the first equation by negative two. I could have eliminated the y's first. Um, either way, um, you're going to get the same exact answer that I'm going to get once I finish this problem. So step number two, add the equations. Once again, the two, negative 2x two and the positive 2x eliminate. If you get a 4y and a 3y, that turns into a 7y. And if you add negative 10 and a positive 17, you get positive 7. Now we just need to solve for our y. And you divide both sides by 7, and you get y equals 1. Now we can move on to step number four and solve for our other variable. Um, since we have our y already, now we need to get our x. So in order to get your x, you just need to plug your y into any of the equations. Um, I'm just going to use this equation because it's right here in front of me. Um, I'm going to plug my y into this equation and then solve for my x. So I'm going to bring down my 2x plus 3 times 1, because we know y equals 1, equals 17. This becomes 2x plus 3 equals 17. Subtract 3 from both sides, and you get 2x equals 14. And now you divide both sides by 2, and you get x equals 7. Now we have solved our system of equations uh, using the elimination method. And it is always proper to write your final answer as a coordinate. So our final answer would look like x equals 7, and our y equals 1. Always write your final answer as a coordinate. So I hope this video helped you gain a little bit better understanding of solving systems using the elimination method. Um, if you need any extra help uh, with elimination or any topic in algebra, please feel free to uh, email me, chris at mathmeaning.com. I'd love to give you some live help. Um, also, please subscribe um, if you like the way I teach and you like my videos. Um, once again, thank you for watching my video, and take care.